and we've been having the neighborhood night out for 30 plus years. White Bear Lake resident outdoors. Kevin Schmidt has been opening his doors to neighbors for decades. The neighbors love it. It's his home on Douglas Lane where we first met, welcoming me and White Bear Lake police and fire during Night to Unite. Officer Tracy's been coming to our house for the parties for a, a number of years and they, when she shows up it's just arousing a cheers for it. It's what inspired him to get involved in helping the police department and the community. He's been a member of CERT, the Community Emergency Response Team, for six years. Police drop the gun! Police drop the gun right now! And volunteers at countless events, including safety camp, active shooter drills, and the annual bike rodeo. If they're handing out free helmets, and if, you know, just if one kid who didn't have a helmet, he went off his bike and it, you know, it prevented him from having brain damage or an, an injury, or if, if they fixed the brakes so that they're, uh, they didn't have an accident, you know, that made it all worthwhile. But his great relationship with police and fire isn't his only inspiration. It's been his wife, Barb, who's led by example over the years, always giving to those in need. One year for Christmas, all she wanted, she told me, I, I just want $500. I said, well, you get a $500 whenever you want. It doesn't be for Christmas, but I found out from the listing house, she didn't even tell me she bought a hundred five dollar gift cards at Burger King which is right across the street from Listening House and gave it to Listening House to hand out to anybody who might be having a bad day and would need a hot drink and a sandwich or something. And, and when she was diagnosed with cancer on Easter of 2019, the community they'd supported for so long came together to support them. The CERT team and White Bear Lake Police Department would, would check in and say, hey, is there anything I can do and anything to help there? They were phenomenal. Barb passed in 2021, but the house the two shared remains as it was. Reminders of Barb felt throughout the home. She made this for the state fair. She got a purple ribbon on a, a needlepoint. This is still sort of a shrine for her in your eye. This, yeah. We've been slow to take it apart, you know. And her rescue pups, Ladybug and Juniper, holding court where Barb spent her final days. Her presence remaining so strong, even her voice still greets callers on the answering machine. While the backyard blooms with many of the flowers she planted and toiled over, now under the watchful eye of Kevin. Stunting all the other ones, but now it's okay. The couple raised two kids here, who now raise their father's spirits. This is a lot of memories in this room. He says they've been a huge source of comfort, as has the community offering help just as he's offered time and time again. When the opportunities came up, I, I, it was, a, it was a good for me to uh, go out and be with people and, and, and be involved in these events. It was important to me and so I knew it was important to her.